We got the Sticky Holster OR7. BGR9 Elite and I'm trying to find a holster for it. with these pants I'm not gonna be able to put uh, on but I got the tighter concealment belt right here. And I do have the extra mag it is loaded up. This mag is loaded up. Round mags are both full to the top, and a little uh, mag pouch that I, I made. So, You are actually supposed to take this out and reholster it every time. Yeah. Obviously, it's not the most discreet. You can't put like a wing or anything on it to push the handle back to you anymore. But I mean, honestly, not everybody. I have had this happen to me a couple times. Everybody says, oh, every time you draw, you know, the, the holster comes out. But in my experience, that happens very, very little. And only if you have, like, really loose clothes. Like, this is not super tight on me. I can still breathe. The comfort concealment belt definitely helps quite a bit. But, you know, like, that's... That move. secure and I mean you can carry it like back here me myself I not carry like this I do not think it's comfortable but I know a lot of people for sure. That's what I bought it for. So, I'm gonna start off with everybody's favorite gun manufacturer. Empty. Got the Taurus G3C. Standard.
reason why I'm putting this in the full magazines in there, in the extra mag, is because that's how I carry. I carry a backup magazine. Um, if it, you know, if it's done and everything together, that's kind of loose. That's quite a bit looser fit, but this is also quite a bit smaller gun. It's quite quite a big. Well, it's about an inch size difference. This does this does kind of stick up a little bit. It's ambidextrous, obviously. Either way, if you're left or righty. Still that action. That I was actually expecting it to pull off. It's not that at all. I actually like this. This may go. It's a 15 rounder for the Smith and Wesson equalizer. This is what I've been carrying all day. The 13 rounder in there. Again, no, you can't put a paddle on there. It does tend out quite a bit. That's still still in there pretty good. Before. So far, I've had this for a couple months. It's been a, a pretty good. I have no problems with it. Real good to me. So I, know, I like it. I've heard a lot of people talk about it does wear. It's not going to be my everyday carry. It does have like a texturing on it, so that texturing does wear off. But when it's against your body or against your clothes and it gets warm, it makes this grip quite a bit more. But uh, I'm sure there's quite a, quite a few more guns. I know my 1911 will not fit in here. And then my Taurus GX4 will not fit in here because it has the TLR6 laser light combo. These fit in there, no problem. Both draw really good. This one fits in there, no problem. Draws pretty good. Yeah, I thought the sticky holster is. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. And then you got a little small, like 22 or something like that. That would definitely be nice for pocket carry. For sure. Probably even stick this in between your seats. Car carry, you know, stick it in the holster, put it in this. It would probably work as well. Sticky holster OR7. And I think this ran me like uh, 25, 25, 30 bucks. I don't know, it's actually get it cheaper online. I went to my local gun store and got it. But, uh, yeah. Sticky holster. So, 